Alright guys, this is Delta from YGO Anime Games and this is going to be Cyrus Truesdale's deck profile. So we built Cyrus's deck a long, long time ago and we've done quite a few duels with it. Um, however, it's been a while since we really took a look at it. And you know, with a new GX wave that just came out, we really wanted to uh, see if there were ways we can make Cyrus's deck better. You know, see if there's a few better decisions. We did remove a couple cards and add, you know, different quantities of a couple cards. Cyrus doesn't have enough cards printed in the anime to make a unique 40 card deck for him. So... There are duplicates of some of his roids and some of his other cards, and we changed the numbers of those a little bit. So anyway, guys, I'm going to get going. You'll see what we have his deck at now. And we have two Psychroid. This is the one that, you know, Cyrus specifically had two of. Not that great. Uh, it's one of the weaker roids, but, you know, it's still something. I mean, a thousand offense, you can sometimes set it and let it get destroyed. Obviously, not the kind of roid you want to draw, you know, into. You'd rather draw your good ones like Drill Roid or Scene Roid or Submarine Roid, but... And we have two Ambulance Roid. So again, he's pretty weak. Um, if you guys remember Sash in the anime, a lot of his roids were weak. You know, it's a, it's a theme that really does well when it comes together. You can fusion summon, you can combine some of your roids together. Like Ambulance Roid is great when combined with Rescue Roid. Rescue Roid will add a roid to your hand, and then Ambulance Roid lets you special summon it. Cool little loop that you can do by combining these two. Um, so that's really where they shine. I mean, Ambulance Roid on its own is fine. If you have it up on the field, and then you play like Express Roid to add two roids to your hand, you can special summon them. Other than that, it's not that great. The one of Decoy Roid, yeah, I mean, this is, it's okay, you're going to want to play it that much. It's in there, Cyrus used it. Two Drill Roid, uh, one of the uh, better Roids, you know, is its ability to destroy defense monsters is really, really good. It comes in handy a lot, and its 1600 defense is, is really strong, too. Then we have two Express Roid. Um, so, you know, again, there are a couple cool combos you can do with, like, this and Ambulance Roid. But in general, just the ability to add back two roids to your hand is really, really good. Express Roid, it really does a good job of, of, of letting you uh, see a couple more roids. And you do have Supercharge in here too, so Cyrus actually has a few ways of getting like multiple cards. You know, Pop Greed Supercharge lets you draw multiple cards. Express Roid grabs you back any two roids. He can be really helpful for making fusions too. You know, you have multiple fusion cards with Cyrus's deck. So you can grab back, you know, like, say like Drill Roid to go into a Super Vehic Roid. You know, Drill Roid and something else. So you can grab back two roids of the same name to make a pair of Psych Roid. Cool things like that. Then we have two Gyroid. Um, 1,000 attack, 1,000 defense, but he cannot be sure of the battle once per turn. Um, so you'll see, you know, we put a duplicates of obviously a lot of the better roids. And we didn't want to, you know, duplicate something like Decoy Roid, you know, but uh, Express Roid is really good at grabbing back roids. Drill Roid is one of your stronger attack roids. Those are the ones we really uh, focused on doubling up. Jet Roid, you know, can have a useful effect, and 1,800 defense is certainly good. And we also sometimes try to. Double the ones that show up in fusions a little bit more, you know, so um, Gyroid, Drillroid, you know, definitely show up in fusions. Then we have, you know, Ambulance Roid is another one. Then we have Patroid. Again, you know, like when we draw him, not the greatest Roid, we're not super thrilled to see him, but his effect can be pretty good, at least giving you information. One Rescue Roid. It's a tribute, not the easiest to bring out. Um, his effect isn't bad, but 16, 1800 for tribute stats is really not that good. Um, you'd rather usually draw like a drill roid than him, but he's in there. It's cool as I just played a lot of different roids, you know, a lot of different monsters, you know, ambulances, fire trucks, police cars, helicopters. I know a lot of people really like Cyrus's deck. Um, we definitely try to make his deck as, as playable as possible, which is part of the reason we made some new changes. We try to take a look at decks that maybe we included some worse cards and we could have just included two of a better card instead of two of a card that doesn't fit the deck as well. One stealth roid. So his effect can be really powerful, um, but he's not that strong. You have to have another Roy too. So there's a lot of situations where you might just draw him and you might not be able to keep another Roy on the field because your opponent keeps destroying them. And in situations like those, he's not that great. He doesn't really show up in fusions outside like one. So then we have two Steamroid. Um, he can get over Cyber Dragon. He can get over, you know, like Crispy Sapphire Pegasus. He can get over a bunch of elemental heroes. The boost up to 20 damage track is huge. Unfortunately, he goes down to 1300. It is a pretty bad downside, but he does show up in... A fusion and is one of Cyrus's really strong monsters. One of the only ways you can really get to like 2,000 plus attack outside of fusions. Another way or two to do it, but Submarine Roid 1800 defense is really strong and the 800 attack directly can be pretty good. Plus, you can attack with him without fear of taking a lot of damage because he's weak attack. You can just switch him to defense mode after he attacks. We include two. Uh, you can get direct damage stacked up pretty fast in Cyrus's deck, especially if you get to a pair of Psychroid. So, definitely, definitely a good card. Two Truckroid. He has a really powerful effect. 
You can get him up to really high attack by destroying your opponent's monsters. The problem is he's a thousand attack, which makes it harder to get over monsters. Um, but he still has two thousand defense, which is really good too. It's the strongest defense on one of the roids that you can just summon right away, so you can set it two thousand pretty strong. Um, if you do get a chance to destroy something, good for you. Maybe you set him your opponent attacks into it with a weak enough monster, you can flip him up and then destroy that monster if you're lucky like that. Uh, but regardless, he is a good monster. The two thousand defense is definitely helpful. Definitely, definitely a good roid. And then the last monster is just UFO roid. Again, one of its attributes it's harder to summon, um, and it's very weak stats. His effect is is pretty good. Um, you can get another roid from your deck, but it's still pretty limited. It has to be 1500 attack or less. So, and this is the fact that he's a tribute for this. It's the same kind of effect as like Giant Rat or Mystic Tomato. It gives you a similar effect like Hero Signal, Destiny Signal. And the problem is it's not a tribute monster, so it really makes UFO roid hard to use. And that's unfortunate. One of that. Anyway, it's, it's cool to even got a roid for UFOs. <laughs> really, really funny. Of, of all the uh, machines and vehicles, a uh, UFO is one. Uh, but moving on, we have 1D Fusion. <laughs> it shows up in a lot of the decks. And in GX, you know, we say some few deck profiles. It's actually pretty good because you can defuse your opponent's monster. Um, one Emergency Provisions. Another little boost of light points is always pretty good. Um, thousand for each spell and trap can be useful. You definitely need some bad cards that you don't usually mind seeing destroyed if you're not able to make use of them right then. Two Mystical Space Typhoon. We don't always want to include two MST in a deck, but Cyrus is definitely a character who doesn't become too powerful with two. Um, it really gives him the ability to get some of the spells and traps out of the way so his like steamroid can actually do stuff. His monsters are weaker too, so you know, two 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 Mystical Space Typhoon seem fine to us. Two Polymerization, you know, just make those roid fusions. Not much to really say there, guys. Uh, one Pop Green. Sure you guys know what it does. Shows up in quite a few decks. Um, by the way, guys, so you should check out our, our Facebook. We post lots of cool stuff there. We're going to do a uh, giveaway for 500 Facebook likes on Facebook. So, I'll take the opportunity to make you guys aware of that. Power Bond. Um, interestingly, in, in the show, he was really hesitant to use it. Zane pushed him to use Power Bond. And eventually ended up using it. it. It is a card with the drawback, and that's, you know, part of the thing is this is not just the regular polymerization, you know, it, it has a life point damage yourself. But for us, it's very useful, it also makes the monster stronger. Um, so this on like a Parasycloid can be really good. It's definitely a powerful card, no doubt about it. Uh, two, Shield Crush. Definitely a good card of Cyrus's. Um, this especially works well with no entry in his trap lineup, but in general, it's just good to destroy defense stuff. Between this and Drillroid, Cyrus has a lot of options. Vehicroid Connection Zone at 1. So this only lets you make your Vehicroid Fusions, um, but they also can't be destroyed by monster spells or traps, um, which is huge. Um, their effects also can't be negated, which there's not the main cards that do that in GX, but still useful to have. Um, so it is a more limited fusion card, but it has the upside of making your Vehicroids actually really, really good. Alright, so moving on to the traps, we have Cyber Summon Blaster. So you can do a lot of damage with this, and some of your like roid loops that let you special summon roids, thing like, you know, Rescue Ambulance Roid. But in general, it might just be a couple extra 300 here and there, you know, 300 when you make a fusion summon, or maybe you get like the Ambulance Roid, Express Roid, Ambulance Roid, Rescue Roid combo like once or twice. Uh, one Magic Cylinder, pretty good to stop and attack and do some damage, you know, classic UE card coming back. It's good that Cyrus at least has some attack stopping traps. Two no entry, um, so this is really good to stop signing your opponent's offense. Um, you can just change all attack position monsters to defense position. Works great with Shield Crush and Drill Roid then. You just use Drill Roid or Shield Crush on your turn to do some real damage to your opponent's strongest monsters. Two supercharge, so when you know, one of your roids is attacked, you can draw two cards. This is not the attack, but it's good to let you see cards and you activate this from your hand, you know, with Drill Roid. You can't have the roid like set though. So you have to have a roid monster like face up on your field, which is a little bit of a drawback but still a good card nonetheless. Two in there to definitely let Cyrus see what he wants to. And then the last card in Cyrus' deck is Wonder Garage, which uh, can let you special summon something, but it's pretty hard to activate, so this is definitely a card that we don't get to see that much. Still Cyrus used it, so it is in there. So that's it for Cyrus' 40 card main deck. You can check out his deck list, including his extra deck I'm about to show you, in our deck list document, so take a look at that. The link is in all of our descriptions. First up is Ambulance Rescue Roid. So Fusion of Ambulance Rescue Roid has a decent amount of attack more than either of them. And then once per turn when one of your monsters is destroyed by battle, you can special summon it. So it's not a bad effect. Not the most useful. Um, you have two Ambulance Roids, so it can be sort of easy to see. The 2300 attack is usually just better than either your Ambulance Roid or Rescue Roid individually, so not a bad choice at all. Here's Parasite Roid, which I was talking about. 
You don't need just two Psychroids in the printed TCG one we have. It's any two Machine App monsters with the same name. So two Express Roid, two Submarine Roid, two Ambulance Roid. It's still not the easiest to see. I mean, you know, it does require drawing both your copies of, of Roids, but the fact that it's any two Machine App monsters definitely makes it easier. And 1600 Attack directly can be pretty good. You can end some games like it. Uh, Steam Gyroid. No effect, just a really simple Gyroid plus Steam Roid. And it only is 2200 Attack. So, it sort of sucks that Steamroid can get up to 2300, and that's more than this. But still, if you don't want to have the downside of Steamroid's attack reducing, Steam Gyroid can be really, really good. And then we have Super Vehicleroid Jumbo Drill. So this requires three Roid monsters, making it definitely a little trickier to make. Still not that impossible, we get 3000 attack for it, which isn't bad. You know, it can be pretty strong, but it has piercing, so you do the difference when attacks from this position monster. To use four cards, a fusion card and three roids, you get 3,000 attack with uh, piercing, which is really not that great of a trade-off if you think about it. You like to usually get more resources out of a monster when you commit to a fusion. So even a two-piece fusion, something like Thunder Giant, you can use it to clear a really strong opponent's monster and attack for game. This one, 3,000 attack is still not bad, but not the greatest. So next up in Cyrus's fusion deck is his biggest, baddest fusion. It's Optimus Prime. You have Truckroid, Expressroid, Drillroid, and Stealthroid combining. Um, so it's hard to make him. It's four of his roids coming together, but you get a pretty powerful monster for the effect. 3600 attack, and he has the ability that you can take a face-up monster on the field that's not machine type and equip it to him, then he can attack all monsters your opponent controls. That is huge. That's great at clearing out like a Shine Flare Wingman or a Blue Eyes Ultimate or something. You can just grab it off your opponent's field, equip it to him. He's great at getting rid of big threats. When he attacks, though, his original attack is halved. So that does make it hard for him to get over stuff in battle. You know, he's he's... His real use is to steal an opponent's monster, or if your opponent has a, a board of like three or four weaker monsters, say one of those face up, a few of them are defense position. You can take one, equip it to him. Now you can attack all monsters your opponent controls. He has piercing as well, so you do the difference when you attack them in defense mode, and that's actually pretty useful. That can steal games. Power bond on him is pretty good, makes a pretty strong monster. But yeah, his his biggest use is just in stealing your opponent's monsters, big stuff to get them off the field, which is a, a very useful effect now. You know, Transformer is pretty hard to summon, but what are you going to do? If you get him out, it is well worth it. And then Cyrus' last card is just UFO Roid Fighter. Once we use it in the Duel of Jaden, we have it in his extra deck just for, like, tag duel purposes, so it would be able to be used. You know, you're not really going to be bringing it out in the average duel, and its effect is not that great. Just, he gets attack equal to the monsters. It's really not the best card, but um, we have it in there anyway. Alright, so that is Cyrus's 40 card main deck and 6 card extra deck. The Roids are a really cool archetype. Hopefully you guys really like it when we play with them. Cyrus is a fun deck. It's a lot of cool cards like Supercharged, some cool Roid effects like Drill Roid, Steam Roid, etc. We did pair him against Hasselberry, so check out that duel if you haven't. We finished our GX Wave 2 for the most part of showing our new decks. So we're really just doing a couple fan request duels and putting out update deck files like this. We update like Jaden, Zane too, so look for that to come, guys. We got lots of cool stuff planned as always. Thank you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We appreciate it. Have a good day.